I didn't realise what a mess I looked like until I turned the camera on, but I'm sure you've seen me worse, it's all good. Hey guys, it is Amy here. Uh, so this is a pretty spur of the moment decision, but I've been reading since about five o'clock. Um, and I've been meaning to do a readathon, another readathon for a while, so I just thought, hey, why not? Let's do a 24 hour readathon. Um, so I'm kind of making up my own rules for this, um, but currently I'm in self isolation, so I don't have a lot to be doing. Um, I'm all right, by the way, I've tested negative. Um, I've just been in contact with someone, but it's all good. Um, I'm fine, it's just, currently very hot. It's currently my main qualm. It's very very hot in this room. Um, so I've been reading since about five o'clock um, and that means that I'm gonna start, even though I wasn't aware that I was doing it, I'm gonna start this readathon from five o'clock. So I have from five o'clock now until five o'clock tomorrow to read as much as I possibly can. Some things I'm going to include in this audiobooks count as reading. Um, I count them in some of my goals and I don't count them in others um but I need to like do things in those 24 hours so I will count that as reading um and also at some point I'm going to work out my page count and that is how I'm going to count this as a success I'm not going to count it based on uh, pages read or anything like that I'm going to count it uh, sorry books read or anything like that I'm going to count it as pages read um slash hours listened to on audiobook um so yeah that's the goal i'm halfway through this book now i'll i'll work out where i started at five o'clock if i can remember um in just a minute so i can do an accurate page count for you guys um but basically this is a book that i got off goodreads um years ago and um, when i was doing all the goodreads giveaways and i got sent a whole bunch of free books um and i read i got two sent two for this giveaway um, but basically the other book was this memoir of this girl who developed an eating disorder and it was basically just her experience in the clinic and things like this. And this is um, the same story but from her mum's point of view. Um, uh, I, this has been in a box under my bed for years. <laughs> um, I forgot that I had it to be completely honest but then um, I, I went home for like a week, like a week or so ago. Um, and forgot my book and I just picked it up and it was the first book that I picked up out of the boxes and I couldn't be bothered to unpack all the boxes to find another book so that is why I'm reading this one. Um, I'm actually enjoying it quite a lot so far. A lot of it is like about like a mother's experience with a daughter which as I am not a mother I cannot relate to but I enjoy her writing um, and she's an author of a couple of other books as well um, so she's, she's a good writer and it's also even though I read the other book years ago um, and it's quite interesting to see it from like a different perspective um, I might have to reread um, the daughter's book because it's not very long it was only like 150 pages long so I might have to reread that at some point just so I can like have it fresh in my brain um, but that is the situation um, I'll work out the page count that I'm on just now should have done that before I picked up the camera but as I said I literally decided to do this like three minutes ago and now we're doing it um, so yeah I definitely have other things I could be doing with the isolation um, but here we are. I might do some things as well. Um, I'm not going to be too strict on this. You know, I'm going to like sleep and eat and like do other things. Um, but I'll probably just have audiobooks on and I'll try and read as much as I can. That's the goal. So I've just checked. I'm pretty sure that I started at five o'clock at about page 300 and I'm on 378 now. Um, so I'm not entirely sure, but I think I'm going to call it about 300. Um, so that's where we're at. But I'm just going to go and do some reading.
Okay, so it is half past seven. I am at uh, 400 pages, so it felt like a good place to stop. Um, and I'm also going to start listening to a new audiobook I'm going to be listening to, uh, which Rosman's The Thursday Murder Club. Um, I will be counting hours listened to for audiobooks, um, but I do listen to them on like 1.15, 1 1.25, sorry, um, or 1.5 speed, depending on the voice of the person and, and how slow they read. Um, so it might not be the most accurate, but... I'm making up the rules as I go to be honest. Hello, sorry for the late update, but it is like 1am and I have finished Hope and Other Luxuries by... Who's it by? Claire? Claire Dunkel? I think it's by... I'm pretty sure it's by Claire Dunkel. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, I just like, picked it up because it was the one on the top of the box. Um, and, and I enjoyed it quite a lot. It was difficult to read um not a not a fun book by any means but i finished it um so yeah yeah i don't know if really enjoyed it is the right word to use for this book um it was a good book is the best way i can put it but i think what i'm going to read next is i'm finally going to get to um a beautifully foolish endeavor the sequel to an absolutely remarkable thing by hank green which i absolutely loved and i don't know why i haven't picked this up yet it's probably because it's a hardback and i don't like reading hardbacks but the last one i read was a hardback so let's you know keep on the trend um i'm probably not gonna read anymore tonight i'm probably just gonna sleep as it is one o'clock in the morning but i am not tired so maybe I'll try sleep and then fail and then read instead. Hello guys, it is the next day but it's actually quarter to one um, so you can probably see I haven't done much today. Um, I absolutely have no idea what happened but last night after I finished the vlog um, I suddenly felt very ill. Um, I feel completely fine now. I like momentarily passed out but it's all good. I'm fine now. Um, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's not COVID because if you guys remember me mentioned in the other clip I'm currently self-isolating because I have been in close contact with someone with COVID. Um, so I'm waiting for my PCR test to come back, but all of my lateral flow has been negative. Um, and as far as I'm aware, fainting is not a COVID symptom. But anyway, because of that, um, I didn't, it took me a while to get to sleep because um, I didn't feel very well. And then I didn't sleep particularly well, but I was like, I'm gonna let myself have a lie in this morning because apparently I need it. Um, but the, I have done a little bit of reading, even though I'm a little bit behind. Um, and I've listened currently 36 minutes to The Thursday Murder Club, but I'm going to listen to some more while I do some tidying up. Um, and I also started, um, I started, um, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavour, which is 30 pages into this as well. Um, so I'm going to tidy up a little bit, maybe I'll do a bit of a time lapse for you, listen to some more, um, of the book that I'm listening to, um, and then get straight back into reading. I'm hoping that I can get at least halfway through this today um but i won't work out final page totals until the end i'll keep you guys and myself in suspense guys well it is five o'clock which means i've officially done 24 hours of pretty much nothing but reading um i have gotten 156 pages into a beautifully foolish endeavor um, i was hoping to get a bit more that that's how much i read um but it is what it is um, i'm really enjoying it i really enjoyed his last book um i knew i would really enjoy it i don't know why it's taking me so long to get there it's definitely taken a turn into the more hard sci-fi currently um, but it still very much keeps its essence of like talking about like the human condition and things like that so 
I'm very much enjoying this, but it is now time to work out how many pages I read. So I started at page 308 and there's 554 pages of Hope and Other Luxuries, actually. No, I'm skipping the epilogue. It's 557, there was only one extra page. So, geez, we've got 405 pages, so almost exactly 400 pages. Um, Someone could probably do the math and work out how, that, how fast I read, but I can't be bothered to do that right now. I know I'm quite a slow reader, I know 400 is not particularly high, but have I enjoyed myself? Absolutely yes. Um, I should also give you an update on the audiobook. Um, I haven't listened to much more since I last updated you. 57 minutes into the audiobook, which I am also enjoying. Um, it's not exactly what I expected so far. Um, it's basically about um, this this club of retired people so far that solve murders that's as far as I've gotten um however the voices from like there's supposed to be this like quite old retired woman um and a lot of the things that she says aren't necessarily like particularly PC and I get that like what Richard Osman is trying to do is like show you it from her point of view and like actually speak in her voice um and it very much does sound like like a realistic voice but sometimes you could just not you know just not say some of these things. Um, yes, it does make it more realistic, but does it harm people in the process? Probably yes. So, do I think it's entirely necessary? Not really. You can make it realistic and just not have those bits in it. So far, this is probably the, the, of the three that I've started or finished. This is definitely the best one, which I thought it was going to be. And I'm glad that I've given myself this excuse to start it. But I'm now going to go make something to eat and get ready to watch the Euro finals. Um, so yeah, I guess you in the future will know how we did on that. Um, I think that's everything. If you have any uh, requests or questions, let me know down in the comments. New videos every Wednesday, like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I'll see you next week.